Right then, so behind me we have the all new Bentley Continental Flying Spur and it's had massive changes more than ever. You know the Bentley Continental GT, well that's got a big change as well too. From the predecessor car, this one has too. So it has a all new aluminium composite body. It's the same sort of shell that you'd find from the Porsche Panamera, but as you can see from the exterior, unlike any other cars in the VW Audi group, this one is very different. Under the bonnet we have a six litre W12. This time it's running 635 horsepower and and it's also been improved to drive and also as a luxury car. If you follow me, we can go up close and personal and see what it's like. And inside, well, it's a special place to be. All flying spurs from the past have always been a special car, but you've always had a sense of it being a little bit VW Phaeton. With this car, it shares the same interior style as you would find on the Continental GT, and everything is just lovely. I mean, you've got sort of just lovely metal indicator stalks. All the touch points is nice as well, soft leather everywhere, exactly what you would expect from a Bentley. And it's a shame we don't have smell-o-vision cameras because inside it smells beautiful um it's just a really nice place to be and you also sit lower in the car as well too but you just have a feeling of just absolute specialness with it as well too you've also got really nice paddles this car has also got an eight speed dual clutch gearbox it's actually a familiar gearbox that we find from porsche's pdk the eight speed that they use from the panamera but let's call it bdk for bentley's sake it's also got the bang and onsen sound system and inside it just feels airy it's a massive transformation for bentley and i do like this interior color scheme and the center console and all the dials and one thing i do love as well you can't find anything that you would find from any of the vw audi groups which is a really nice touch it feels very bespoke and inside well it's a special place to be in. I mean, it's equally as enjoyable in here as it is at the front. And that's one thing that Bentley have been concentrating. They want this car to be a driver's car as well as being a luxury car, two sides of the flip coin. The Flying Spur was really good as a fast performance vehicle, but in terms of corners, well, it was a little bit different. But we'll talk about that later on because we will get a chance later on in the year to actually drive this car. Um, inside here, it's just really nice. This car's standard wheelbase at the minute for the Flying Spur. You can only get the W12 configuration. I've got this really nice, uh, basically an iPad display in front of me, but it's one of Bentley's own bespoke ones. I believe it uses Android, so it's not really an iPad. I've also got the adjustable electric seats as well too, which is just really, really nice. And it's also extended. Over here as well, we've also got a screen that basically shows the air conditioning as well too. So uh, yeah, as you can see, it is really, really nice. We've also got cool mirrors too. Plus the headrests, they're all padded for your head too.